hello guys today i'm here with a new tutorial and in this video i'm going to show how to install macOS catalina on pc so before starting if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates so guys let's start finally the macOS catalina has been released and is available on app store before installing i advise you to back up your existing hackintosh to avoid any issues Still, NVIDIA users will not be able to utilize the graphics as there is no any NVIDIA web drivers available since macOS Mojave. However, the supported NVIDIA card which doesn't need any web driver will work out of the box. NVIDIA users have got only two options as of now, either switch to AMD compatible GPU or use iGPU if available. So before installing, make sure your hardware is compatible. So let's start. The very first step is to create bootable USB for macOS Catalina. To create a bootable USB, you will need an internet connection to download the required files such as macOS Catalina, post install folder, fixes and a pre-configured EFI folder. To download the macOS, you will need an access to a Macintosh or a Hackintosh computer and then you can download it from App Store. Once the download gets completed, it will be automatically transferred to the Applications folder and will appear as Install macOS Catalina. As you can see here, Post Installation tool containing a set of tools such as Clover Configurator, DPCI Manager, Kext Utility and some other tools. Some fixes such as Ethernet Fix, Realtek Audio Fix and a pre-configured EFI folder. So guys, don't worry, all download links are provided under video in the description. Now plug your first USB flash drive, as you can see here is the USB flash drive, now click on go, select utilities, open disk utility, now select your USB flash drive, that is SanDisk Ultra Fit Media, click on erase button, under name you can type any name but for instance I will be using USB as the command has been changed for USB, under format select macOS extended journal aid, under scheme select GUID partition map and click on erase button. Click on done. Now close disk utility, close utilities. Now go to spotlight search and look for terminal. Now open the command file. Now select the whole command and copy it. Now paste it in the terminal. Now press enter key. Now enter your password. Now press Y to confirm. Now as you can see the disk is being erased and it will prepare a macOS bootable USB flash drive. So this process will take some time so wait for that. Now as you can see the macOS bootable USB flash drive has been created. So quit the terminal. Now as you can see here is install macOS Catalina. Close the terminal. So currently this USB flash drive can be used to boot a Macintosh computer but not the Hackintosh as you will need a pre-configured EFI folder. So open the post install folder, open Clover configurator, click on mount EFI, now mount the EFI partition of your USB flash drive. So here is the EFI on install macOS Catalina, click on mount partition, enter password, close Clover configurator, close post install folder. Now open the EFI partition of the USB flash drive. Now copy this EFI folder and place it over here. Close the EFI partition. Click on eject. EFI. Click on eject. So now the macOS USB flash drive is ready to boot off your computer. Now eject the macOS USB flash drive. And now plug your second USB flash drive. You can see here is the second USB flash drive. Click on go. Click on utilities. Open disk utility. Now select your USB flash drive. It's jet flash transcan. Click on erase button. Now under name type post install. Under format select macOS extended general aid and under scheme select GID partition map and click on erase button. Click on done. Now close disk utility. Close utilities. And now copy the post install and the fixes folder and paste it in the post install USB flash drive. Now the macOS bootable USB flash drive has been created and the post install and the fixes folder has been copied to the second USB flash drive. So now we are ready to install macOS Catalina. Click on eject post install. Now start your PC and press delete key to enter your BIOS menu. 
so before installing macOS Catalina you will need to make some changes in the BIOS and then only you would be able to install macOS so go to save and exit now select load optimize defaults and press enter key select yes now select save and exit setup and then select yes now your system will restart press delete key to enter BIOS menu again and now in this step we will configure the BIOS for installing macOS Catalina now select advanced memory settings and set extreme memory profile XMP to profile 1 now go to BIOS tab set fast boot to disable set mouse speed to 2x set windows 8 10 features to other OS now go to peripherals tab select super IO configuration set serial port to disable go back now go to USB configuration and set XHCI handoff to enable now go back go to chipset tab set VTD to disable go to save and exit now select save and exit setup and press enter key select yes now your system will restart plug your macOS USB flash drive and press F12 to enter your boot menu now select your USB flash drive followed by the UFI prefix that is UFI send disk partition 1 and press enter to boot now as you can see here is the Clover welcome screen so select boot macOS install from install macOS Catalina and press enter to boot and as you can see the installer is loading the files so it will take some time now as you can see here is the macOS language welcome screen so select your language and continue so now as you can see here is the macOS utilities select disk utility and click on continue now go to view and select show all devices now you need to select your hard drive or ssd on which you want to install macOS so here is the gigabyte 120 gb ssd so select your main drive instead of any partitions and click on erase button now under name you can type any name but for instance i will be using macintosh HD under format select APFS and under scheme select GUID partition map and click on erase button now click on done now close disk utility now select install macOS and click on continue now click on continue click on agree click on agree now select Macintosh HD and click on install now as you can see about 5 minutes is remaining and this will take Few minutes so wait for that now as you can see about two minutes is remaining and your system will restart in a while press f12 to enter your boot menu now select your usb flash drive followed by the ufi prefix that is ufi send disk partition one and press enter to boot press F12 to enter your boot menu now select your USB flash drive followed by the UFI prefix that is UFI send disk partition 1 and press enter to boot Now select your country and click on continue. Now the preferred language input sources and the dictation will be automatically selected. So click on continue. Click on other network options and select my computer does not connect to the internet and click on continue. Now click on continue. Now click on continue. Now click on continue. Now click on agree. Now click on agree. Now it's time to create a computer account. Now click on continue as you can see it's creating account now click on continue click on continue now click on continue now here is the look light dark and auto so i will be using the dark theme now click on continue now as you can see it's setting up your mac now as you can see here is the keyboard setup assistant so click on continue now press z key on your keyboard now press the question mark and the slash key on your keyboard now click on done now go to finder and click on preferences now select hard disk and connected servers and all the connected drives will appear here now close the finder preferences now plug your second usb flash drive now as you can see here the post install drive so 
open the usb flash drive now copy the fixes and the post install folder to your desktop now open the post install folder open clover configurator now click on mount efi and you will need to mount the efi partition of the usb flash drive and the system drive click on mount partition and enter your password click on mount partition and enter your password and as you can see both the efi partition have been mounted over here close clover configurator close post install folder now open the efi partition of the system drive now right click on efi and select move to bin now empty the bin now open the efi partition of the usb flash drive now copy the efi folder and paste it over here so by doing this step you will be simply able to install clover bootloader and you can boot your system without the need of usb flash drive and this is a pre-configured efi folder so no need to patch anything now close the efi partition now eject both the usb flash drive click on eject all now as the efi folder has been copied so it's time to install the fixes so open the fixes folder so here is the ethernet fix open the folder open the package click on continue click on continue click on install now enter your password click on close now open the realtek lc892 audio fix open the folder now open kext utility now enter your password now drag this sudo hda kext to kext utility and enter your password click on quit now close the folder now the efi folder has been copied to the system drive and all the fixes have been applied so now it's time to restart click on apple logo and click on restart now uncheck this box reopen windows when logging back in and click on restart So now the fixes have been applied and the system has been restarted so let's check the system now as you can see here is the wi-fi select the wi-fi network and enter your password now click on join as you can see the wi-fi is connected open safari now as you can see the internet is working and the system is connected to wi-fi network now open system preferences go to sound now select show volume in menu bar and as you can see here is the headphones line out green rear spdif out and lg ips full hd this is the hdmi audio the volume hotkeys are working so now everything is working fine the graphics is working the audio is working the wi-fi is working the bluetooth is working the internet is also working the sleep wave function is also working so now it's time to check out the system specification let's check it out Click on Apple logo and then select about this Mac and as you can see here is the Mac OS Catalina version 10.15 and the build number is 19A583 so here is the IMF Pro 2017 and the processor is 2.9 GHz 6 core Intel Core i5 and the memory is 16 GB 2666 MHz DDR4 and the graphics is Redon RX 5804 GB and here is the serial number and go to displays tab so here is the LG IPS Full HD display 21.5 inch running into 1920 into 1080p Here is the storage 120GB Macintosh HD Finally we have a full working macros Catalina on PC I hope you like this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe For more updates stay connected have a great day